Google just announced and released some of the biggest updates in their AI lineup ever. And on the very top of the list, there is a brand new way to use Google.com to search. This is called AI mode inside of Google.com. And this is getting rolled out right now in the US as I speak. I've had it for about three months now as an experimental program. And this is the biggest risk I've ever seen any tech company take. So for 25 years, when you went to Google.com, you saw this page, right? And then you typed in a search and then Google basically gave you some ads and a bunch of blue links here, and then you could find your way into an answer. Then they also introduced something called AI overview that's been around for a couple of years where you try to go through the different sources here and just recap the answer right on top, right? And this has been used quite a lot of times now ever since they released AI overview. Now, AI mode is completely different. It's a lot more like using Gemini or ChatGPT and doing searches that way, but now it's built into Google.com. So your Google.com soon, if you don't have it just yet, will have this tab right on top called AI mode. And then if you go under all, you'll go to the regular Google.com that you're used to with the regular traditional search. Okay, so if you do a search this way, it's kicking off the search and it's giving you an answer in a whole different way, right? It's a little bit of an AI overview, but it still has links to different places that I could check out. Suggestions, it's giving me a map, right? And I could follow up here using this search option down on the bottom. So now if you go to google.com, there is a good chance you'll see AI mode right here. If it's available for you, this is the traditional Google search. So AI mode will bring you right to this tab. All will bring you back to this traditional search for now. The next big update is they improved Gemini 2.5 Pro and vastly improved Gemini 2.5 Flash. So there's this website right here. This is the lmarena.ai, which shows you what the best large language models right now are. And if you look at the very top of the chart, Gemini 2.5 Pro and this brand new one, Gemini 2.5 Flash, which just came out, is still in preview right now, but I'll show you how to use it for free. Number one and number two, third and four on the list are two chat GPT models. So the best way you could use it right now is if you go to aistudio.google.com and if you go under chat, you'll see both options available here. So this is the brand new Gemini 2.5 Pro in preview and Gemini 2.5 Flash in preview right now. And you could just use it here inside of this chat box. And they have a bunch of different options you could test out. And if you haven't used this one right here, stream, this is Gemini Live, which also got a big improvement here. And you could give it access to your microphone, your webcam and share your screen and have it give you feedback on what you're looking at on your screen. Kind of like a tutor that is looking over your shoulder that's inside of Google AI Studio. And if you go to Gemini at gemini.google.com, you will see Gemini Pro right now in preview. So this is the new one here. You could go ahead and just turn that on and use it over here as well. Okay, the next big update was something called Gemini Diffusion. So Gemini, all the models I'm showing you here, those are large language models. They're predicting what word comes after another word based on their training, right? Diffusion models work a different way. Usually diffusion models are video models, image models, they're basically trying to figure out what an image looks like based on all the training, right? So they start kind of with a bunch of noise and then it kind of all comes together. Well, now there's a diffusion model from Gemini that they just demoed in experimental stage right now, which works like those image diffusion models, but for text. So take this math example. Ready? Go. If you blinked, you missed it. We're going to slow it down a little. Pretty cool to see the process of how the model gets to the answer of 39. They also released a new mode for Gemini Pro. This is Gemini 2.5 Pro DeepThink. This is a new mode that's pushing the model's performance. Okay, the next update wasn't part of this presentation. It came out the day before, but Notebook LM now has a mobile app. I have it on my iPhone and it is incredible. So if you use Notebook LM, and I cover Notebook LM all the time on this channel, I now could take those audio overviews that get created between two hosts from my own sources and listen to them on the go in the car. Now, the most mind blowing demo that I saw here, which I will also test out right after I'm done with this video and make a dedicated video for it, was for Veo3, their state of the art video model. 
And all this footage that you're seeing here was part of their intro, all created with the new Veo 3. Now, Veo 3 is available actually right now, and I'll show you some of the new pricing plan that they released with new subscription tiers. But Veo 3 is a massive leap in AI video generation. And on top of that, your generations could now talk. Check out this demo right here. We can talk. We can talk. We can talk with accents. Oh, I think that would be marvelous for Yes, it is very fun. But yes, it is I very good. It's very fun. I can talk. Yes. yes. We can talk. Yes. yes. Yeah. We, we can talk. talk. We can talk. We can talk. Yes, we can ma. talk. Mm, no. <laughs> okay, that is clearly by far the most impressive demo in the history of AI video generation, right? There is no doubt. This beats just about everything else in that world that's been put up before. So I will test it because it's available right now. Let me show you some of the new pricing tiers and subscription tiers they rolled out. Okay, Gemini now has three different subscriptions. You have the free one that everyone gets with a Google account. They have this new one called Google AI Pro that's $20 a month. So this is just a revamp or rebrand of what they had before. This is what I've had for a while, but there's some new things here. And I still have more things to cover in this video. I just wanted to show you some of these things that come with it. So for example, Flow, I'm gonna show you. Whisk here, Notebook LM got some upgrades. And then you have this new one called Google AI Ultra, which is $250 a month after this initial three months and half the price. So this is the one I'm gonna to subscribe to because Veo 3 only comes in this tier right here. Let me show you everything you get with this one. You get a higher limit of 2.5 Pro, DeepThink, and Veo 3. So this model right here is the video generation model. You get Flow. I'm gonna show you this. This is a new AI filmmaking tool. My background is a filmmaker. I worked as a director, cinematographer for, for a very long time. So really excited to show you that one. And then you get this thing called Whisk, which is image to video generation with Veo 2. There's a bunch of other stuff and they also threw in YouTube Premium, which I also pay for separately. So this is nice, ad-free YouTube. And look at this, you get 30 terabytes of storage. So yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna run out of 30 terabytes of storage. The usual $20 plan comes with two terabytes, the free plan 15 gigabytes, right? Now they also released a brand new image and model. So this is their text to image model and this is version four now and you could use it inside of Gemini and you could use it inside of Whisk. Let me show you Whisk here. Okay, Whisk is basically where you could bring in a subject, a scene and a style all together. And it's a really nice UI here for anyone to use if you are going to turn a text into an image. And here's a prompt miniature city built inside of a giant acorn. And you could also choose different sizes here. They have three available and you could send this out and you could prompt with an image too. Okay, let me open this one up. Really, really great results over here. And they have some other options. So for example, I could go ahead and animate this. I could also refine it here. So I could do any additional editing with another follow-up text prompt. I'll click on animate. I'll type in a prompt to rotate this slowly. Okay, let me press play on that. Okay, perfect. It listened to my prompt perfectly, right? And it kept the video exactly the same. It's consistent in every frame of this rotation. That's excellent. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this right from here. Now I think future of AI, a lot of it is gonna be live interactions with the AI. So Gemini Live really stands at the forefront of that. Let me show you this interactive conversation and demo they had. I found this super fascinating. I'm here with the latest research prototype of Project Astra, and we're gonna see how it can help me fix my bike. Hey, go online and look for a user's manual for a Huffy mountain bike. I have found a user manual for you. What would you like to know about it? Okay, cool. Now scroll until you find the section about the brakes. Sure thing, looking for that page now. I think I stripped this screw. Can you go on YouTube and find a video for how to fix that? Of course, I'm opening YouTube now. This looks like a good video. Place a rubber band over the head of the screw. Oh, nice, press down nice. Firm. Can you go through my emails with the bike shop and find which size hex nut I need? Sure, according to the email from Bicycle Habitat, you need a 3 8 inch hex nut for your sprocket. I've highlighted the correct bin for you. It seems like I need a spare tension screw. Can you call the nearest bike shop and see what they have in stock? Yep, calling them now. I'll get back to you with what they have in stock. I think my brake pads are wearing down. 
can you check the manual again and see if it talks about them anywhere? According to the manual, if you look on page hey. 24... Do you want to get lunch? Yeah, give me five minutes. Can you finish what you were saying? As I was saying, if you look on page 24, section 2, you'll see how to replace the brake pads. Hey, uh, any updates on that call? Yep, I just got off of the bike shop. They confirmed they have your tension screw in stock. Would you like me to place a pickup order? Could you show me some examples of dog baskets I can put on my bike? Sure, I can help you with that. Just give me a moment. Here are some options. I think Zuka would look really great in these. Okay, they also introduced something called agent mode inside of the Gemini app. And if you're not familiar with AI agents just yet, Sundar, the CEO of Google, explained it perfectly. So I'll show you his 20 second explanation of what agents are. And then I'll show you this quick demo of agent mode inside of Gemini. Next, we also have a research prototype Project Mariner. It's an agent that can interact with the web and get stuff done. Stepping back, we think of agents as systems that combine the intelligence of advanced AI models with access to tools. They can take actions on your behalf and under your control. Let me show you what we are excited about in the Gemini app. We call it agent mode. Say you want to find an apartment for you and two roommates in Austin. You've each got a budget of $1,200 a month. You want a washer dryer or at least a laundromat nearby. Normally, you'd have to spend a lot of time scrolling through endless listings. Using agent mode, the Gemini app goes to work behind the scenes. It finds listings from sites like Zillow that match your criteria and uses Project Mariner when needed to adjust very specific filters. If there's an apartment you want to check out, Gemini uses MCP to access the listings and even schedule a tour on your behalf and it'll keep browsing for new listings for as long as you need, freeing you up to do the stuff you want to do, like plan the housewarming party. Okay, this next demo is completely mind-blowing. Imagine talking to someone that doesn't speak the same language as you. Well, Google has now introduced real-time speech translation in Google Meet. It's nice to finally talk to you. Es bueno hablarte finalmente. No puedo esperar alquilar tu casa. You're going to have a lot of fun, and I think you're going to love visiting the city. The house is in a very nice neighborhood and overlooks the mountains. That sounds wonderful. Is the house Eso suena maravilloso. ¿Es la casa cercana al transporte público o recomiendas alquilar un coche? Hay un autobús cerca. There's a bus nearby, but I would recommend renting a car so you can visit the nature and enjoy it. Okay, the next update is something called Flow. This is a new filmmaking tool that combines the power of Veo with a lot of filmmaking tools that you need to bring it all together. Now, the way Flow works is, if I show you right here, is consistent so you could bring your own asset or generate them in Flow, then easily manage and reference them as you start creating it. So it's more like a holistic filmmaking tool than just a video generation tool like Veo is where you type in a text prompt and get a single clip. And this has ton of different options for adding different scenes, for example. This is very cinematic, so you could actually have the language like jib up, for example. It's a way you would move a camera, so you could describe that here. And this is gonna be available inside of Google AI Pro here, but that's gonna use Veo 2. If you wanna use Veo 3, you will have to upgrade to this Google AI Ultra, which I will do for the next video. And AI mode is getting ton of new updates too that they announced they're gonna get agentic capabilities inside of AI mode. It's also going to have personal context inside of AI mode. So that's gonna be personalized suggestions based on all the other things that Google has, right? Google Gmail and Google Drive, all the other stuff you have inside of your Google spaces is going to be available inside of your AI mode to some extent with personalization and AI powered shopping is also coming to search. So a lot of new updates that's gonna completely reinvent how Google does search. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna cover Veo 3 coming up and I wanna also dive deeper in some of these other options inside of Google Ultra, this $250 upgrade to see if it's worth it. And I'll fully test out the new Gemini models now that they are the top models beating every other model, including ChatGPT, 
on the charts. I'll see you on the very next video.